Riley Sorolo coming at you with a new food review. Today, I'm in Liverpool Central and I'm going to be showcasing a place called Chai right here on Renshaw Street. Stay tuned because at the end of this episode, I'm going to let you know whether to give this place a hit or a miss. Boom. <laughs> I'm absolutely blown away by the size of the menu. You've got a range of chicken dishes, pork dishes, beef dishes, uh, curry dishes, vegetable dishes, something that you can have with uh, a choice of rice, egg fried rice. Yeah, it's really extensive, it's really, really extensive. Struggling to decide what to choose, guys. Guys, I feel very special because uh, We've been sat down and already we've got the prawn crackers, we've got the, I don't know what this is, some kind of um, sweet and sour sauce. Let's get it cracking guys. Let's get it cracking. So, the orders are in. It's that time to go to the little boy's room and show you exactly what state it's in. Let's go. Basin here. Got two urinals, one basin, one cubicle. It's quite nice in here. It's clean, fresh. It's in a good state. Let's see if the hand dryer is working. There isn't really much to say about this place. You've got ooh, soap dispenser and moisturizer. <laughs> So, the dock and the pancakes have arrived. There's a lot of dock. I don't feel like there's a lot of pancake. So we've got a dock with the hoisin sauce, some celery. Pancakes are already cold. Mmm, very crispy, super, super crispy, a lot of flavour, the hoisin sauce just really makes it come through. Mmm. I only wish the pancakes were warmer. Super, super crispy, these ribs, really sweet. Extremely crispy, a little bit fatty, but I feel like the fat adds to the flavour. It's fat at the right level and it's glazed in honey. Gives it that nice, rich, sweet, mouth watering balance. This is really good, guys. Can't decide what I prefer the duck or the or the ribs, they're just both so divine. Mm. <laughs> Thing you're looking good, no KFC. Let's dig in. Start with the pork. Mm. That ginger really comes through, it's quite sweet. Air fried rice. Seasoned very well. I was a bit worried because from appearance it looks like it's absorbed quite a lot of water but it doesn't taste like that, it doesn't taste like soggy rice at all at the right level got this sizzling beef Woo! this is nice it's got a little bit of a kick, quite sweet as well I definitely prefer the beef the pork with the pineapple and the ginger it's not a bad competitor Mm. The portion size here is actually quite mental because we've ordered two dishes and three portions of rice for four people and I'm quite satisfied. This is actually quite good. It's 
good value, guys. Shy Liverpool. Right. I was really, really impressed with the standards of the food here. My favourite item was definitely the crispy duck. It was super, super crispy and flavoursome. But everything was good. And even the egg fried rice, it was so flavoursome that you could actually eat it with no sauce and have a good time. I'm going to give taste a four and a half out of five. I have to say, what really stood out with this restaurant was actually the owner. Um, he was a very pleasant scouser and um, he told us a little bit about the business and how he had an army of staff, which was quite evident because you could see that none of the members of staff were overwhelmed and it was very indicative on the level of service we received. So on that basis, I'm going to give customer service a five out of five. I can't fault the state of the restaurant. It was extremely busy and yet it was very clean, especially the toilets, uh, no mess in sight. So on that basis, it's going to get a five out of five. This restaurant was of a decent size. The table space gave guests enough room to really enjoy their meals properly. And the setting was quite cozy. You got the dim lights and a little bit of purple splash in the background is for a nice, simple, yet classy touch. I really like it and um, I'm gonna give Ambience a four and a half out of five. The bill came to just under 60 pounds. Now, that was starters and mains, two starters and mains, yeah, two starters and mains. Now, the mains consisted of three portions of rice and two dishes shared amongst four people we were absolutely full and satisfied this is great value absolutely great value and um i wouldn't hesitate to come to this place again anytime i happen to be in liverpool so for value this place gets a solid five out of five i would definitely recommend this space as i've already just said i would come here anytime i'm in liverpool this place ticks all the boxes for a great restaurant. So that's the end of my review. If you like the video, make sure to like, comment, share and subscribe. Make sure you check out my other videos right there because I make videos every single week. So, till next time, peace. Bwah!